Hey curl friends and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use a hot oil treatment to combat thinning edges, split ends, as well as dry hair. So I recently showed you guys my winter wash day routine and whenever I do my hot oil treatments I just go ahead and shampoo my hair and then I move into my hot oil treatment. So I'm using this applicator bottle to make the application process a lot more easier. I can get to my scalp more better with the nozzle and it just makes this a nice seamless application process. So the first technique I'm going to show you guys is for thinning edges. Don't be alarmed if you have thinning edges. It is a common natural hair problem, but I'm going to show you guys today how you can combat that. So like I said, I'm starting off on shampooed hair. My hair is a bit damp and you want to use an old t-shirt for this hot oil treatment. This oil will stain. So I'm focusing the oil basically on my hairline itself. I'm just going to apply the oil along my hairline and I'm going to use the fingertips to go ahead and massage this oil in. You want to take your time and make sure that you're covering your entire hairline and rubbing this in very very nice and gentle but just make sure that you're getting into that scalp. Massaging the scalp will allow the blood flow to flow much more easier and it will allow the oil to soak in. The next technique we're going to do is for dry scalp or psoriasis. Any of you guys that suffer with flaky dry scalp, I'm just going to split my hair into four separate sections just so I can get through the thickness of my hair much more easier. So I'm just clipping those away and I'm going to start with the left section and I'm just going through with horizontal parts like medium sized parts. I just want to make sure that I'm getting as much oil on my scalp itself as possible. So I'm just splitting it into small sections, rubbing that oil through and then I'll go back in with my fingertip to distribute the oil throughout my entire scalp and make sure that the entire section is covered. Then I'll just twist the hair back up and clip it away and move on to the next section. A lot of times with dry scalp or flaky scalp, it's really just hydration of the scalp. Your hair is missing a lot of hydration. This oil will help to loosen up those scabs and allow them to rinse away whenever you use your shampoo again. So like I said, this is really, really great for dry scalp, psoriasis, any kind of dryness of the scalp. You can also use this as a pre-pull. Apply this to your scalp, let it sit for a little bit, and then go in with your shampoo. That way it's coming off with the shampoo. This Jamaican black castor oil with mongogo and cotton tea is really great for unblocking the pores and allowing your scalp to breathe. So this is great for scalp treatments. We're also going to work on the split ends. If you suffer from split or dry ends, you can just apply the oil directly to your ends and saturate the entire hair and run the oil through. After I get the oil into the hair, I personally like to twirl the ends just to make sure that everything is fully saturated and that oil can penetrate those dry ends. And last but not least, dry hair. If you suffer from dry hair, here's a little trick. You can use just a basic hot oil treatment, just put the oil directly onto the hair, move it throughout the hair, smooth it down, just get it throughout the entire hair. Or you could use a mask, which I will show you guys how to create in a little bit. This mongongo oil has a lot of nutrients, vitamin E, just a lot of great exotic properties that's going to help to condition the hair, restructure it, and hydrate it. So this is great for dry hair. Now here's the mask I was telling you guys about. You can use any conditioner of your choice. Just apply half of the conditioner and half of the oils and create this mixture. The conditioner itself is going to give this mixture a nice thick consistency to lay on top of your hair. And there's your homemade mask, literally just two ingredients. And if you're on a budget and you can't afford any of the shampoos or conditioners that include oils in them, this is a great way to DIY it yourself at home. Grabbing a generous amount of our newly constructed mixture, I'm just going to apply this to my hair. I'm just going to go section by section just to make sure that everything is fully saturated. Now, like I said before, you guys want to make sure that when you're doing anything with these hot oil treatments, you want to make sure that you're using a really old shirt. You will end up dropping the oil on your clothing and a lot of times the oils do stain. So just keep that in mind. Last but not least, after you finish figuring out which hot oil treatment you would like to use, you can either use a shower cap and allow your body heat to create the greenhouse effect and heat up your hair underneath this cap, or you can opt for a blow dryer attachment like I did. I leave this on my hair for about 15 minutes, minimum up to 45 minutes, and then I'll just take down my hair and rinse and wash away this mask. As you guys can see, my hair is super, super soft and moisturized. This oil worked 
absolute wonders on my hair. I love using exotic and pure oils that don't have a lot of chemicals in them. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this out and just proceed with my styling, whether I go for a protective style or straighten my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little hot oil treatment 101 video. Be sure to check out the description box below for more information. This oil is available in your local Walgreens. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.